about two days ago the jailbreak for 3.1 and 3.1.1 and 3.1.2 was released and surprisingly it was for all iDevices iPod Touch 1G, 2G, 3G, iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G and 3GS um, and you want to make sure if you're on iPhone 3G or 3GS don't or 2G don't upgrade um, if you have uh, if yours is unlocked and not on contract because you'll probably lose your baseband unlock forever. Anyways, this is one of the fastest jailbreaks I've ever had, so it's really easy. What you want to do is have your iPod, iPod or iPhone connected to your iTunes. Make sure, make sure iTunes is on. And um, then you want to go to this website called um, Black Rain. It's called Black... Uh, black r a one n dot com, black rain dot com, and then uh, you want to download the application. Um, on the website, there's a beneath the picture, there's a Windows logo. You click on it and you just save it to your desktop, and then um, you get this thingy and press run, and then make sure your iTouch is connected. And then, after you run it, click Make It Rain. Your iPod will go into the recovery mode thing. And then, you just wait for the little circle-y thing, and there. It says, your real break is done. Once the phone reboots, please donate to geohot.gmail.com. The thingy from iTunes will come up, and click OK. Done, wait for reboot. Just click that. Wait for your iTouch or iPhone, iPod Touch or iPhone to come up, come on, um, turn on, uh, reboot. I mean, pretty fast process. It's like all the other jailbreaks that came out. You'd had to connect your i um iPod Touch or iPhone and then hold down this button and that one for like a while and then yeah, this all it does is you just plug it in, press one click. It's it's back. It's like back in the 1.1.x days when all you had to do was go on your iTouch and go to this website called jailbreakme.com, and you just press the button and it would jailbreak you right there. You wouldn't need a computer or anything. Of course, the glory days aren't there. Okay, so um, this thing iTunes recognizes it. Press. Get into your iTouch, and you'll have an icon that says Black Rain. Go into it, and then uh, you have to select. Okay. Oh, I had to make sure you're connected to the internet, though. All right. Um, or else it won't work. Um, and uh, one second. All right. Once it's connected, go back to your Black Rain. Okay, and then select. Make sure you don't install more than one. And if you really need to, make sure it's either Rock and IC or City and or IC because IC doesn't really matter. But if you're gonna install City and Rock, that's gonna create some compatibility issues. So select whatever you want. I'm just gonna install City on here, um, and then press install. And it's going to download Cydia for you um, and install it. So, yeah, that's pretty much the jailbreak for the 3.1.1 and the 3.1.1 and the 3.1.2. So it doesn't matter whatever one you, you're on. And you don't even need to go download the firmware separately. That That's the awesome thing. So um, it's really easy. All you have to do is that. Um, yeah. So there you go. Oh yeah, and um, the Black Rain application that you have right here, you can uninstall it right there. Uninstall Black Rain. So after you're done downloading Cydia and installing it and all, you can um, you can delete it. So like if you're jailbreaking it for another friend or something, like I'm doing right now, um, and they wouldn't know what Black Rain was and kind of crap up their own iPod by installing Rock. So um, uninstall Black Rain. Well, I recommend that. All right, so.
yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah, so subscribe, uh, rate, and comment. Thanks.